to my channel. I am so, 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 so excited for today's video because as you can tell by the title of the video, when you clicked on it, you know that this is a huge Mac warehouse sale haul. So for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, here in Toronto, we have this thing called the Mac warehouse sale. And basically what it is, is all of the products from like brands that are owned by the same company. So Mac, Estee Lauder, Tom Ford, who else was there? Becca, Clinique, Bobby Brown, all of these big name brands, they have this big warehouse sale. And it's really hard to get into this warehouse sale. Only certain people are allowed. You need to have a ticket. A lot of times people will sell tickets if they know that they're not going to go they'll put them on like Kijiji or eBay and just kind of sell them for 10 or $20 I have wanted to go to the Mac warehouse sale for years and years and years I was never able to get tickets and then finally the last one I was able to get tickets but I wasn't able to go so when this one came up and this lady at work who was like my makeup guardian angel I'll call her um, her mom got tickets and they weren't able to go so she gave them to me I literally was screaming I called my sister right away and I'm like cancel all your plans for tomorrow, we are going to be at the Mac Warehouse sale. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram and you saw my Instagram stories, you saw that I went there at about 8 a.m. in the morning, the sale opened at 9, and when I went there at 8 a.m., there was already a line around the building. People take this stuff so seriously. Like, I was one of those people who were there an hour early, and when I, this was my first time going, so when I went and I was an hour early, I thought, okay, I'll probably have a few people in front of me, but I was surprised to see how many people were there. So first off, when you walk in, you have to go through security, you have to give them your ticket, it's like a big whole ordeal, and then you get into this huge, massive warehouse, and there are just piles and piles of makeup everywhere. So basically they'll lay everything out on a table, they will have samples, you just go in, you write down the number of the item that you want the sample, you go to the counter, and then they give you the products that you want. There are many different sections, so there's like a brush section, there's a Tom Ford section, there's a Bobby Brown, there's Mac, etc, etc. So what I did with my sister was we kind of scanned the room to see the sections that we were like, we have to go there first because most likely those products will sell out. We were able to get everything that we wanted, except there was one Tom Ford lipstick we weren't able to get, so I think I'm gonna have to go to Sephora and pick that up myself. And one of the things I should mention about the warehouse sale in general is the fact that not all products are there. So like they didn't have like tons of foundation and they only have certain color lipsticks, certain color foundation, certain colors of things. So if you were going there thinking, oh, I'm gonna go and stock up, you know, on all the things that I want, that necessarily might not be able to happen just because they might not even have the selection that you want. You have to see what they have and then go from there and pick what you want. And I mean that this sale is worth it. Like it was worth the crazy crowds, it was worth the line. Guys, I paid like $10 for a MAC lipstick. When are you ever gonna pay $10 for a MAC lipstick? You're never gonna pay $10 for a MAC lipstick. The day that I got the tickets from my little makeup guardian angel from work, I had just had a conversation the night before with Brandon saying like, we're not gonna spend any money, we need to buy a house, you know, like we wanna have kids soon, we're not gonna be doing all this crazy purchasing. And when I mean we're not gonna be doing all this crazy purchasing, I really mean me, because I'm the only one who really spends in this household. And then the next day, I get these tickets to the Mac Warehouse sale, and I'm like, really? Really? How could I not go to the sale? So I went in and I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna spend like $100. Like, that's okay, $100, I'll get a few things, you know, bada bing, bada boom. But then I ended up going and spending $400, <laughs> but, let me tell you something, in my defense, this is probably the most MAC items I've ever bought. In the last MAC haul that I did for you guys when MAC had their 15% off sale and I went crazy and did like a big stock up, I spent more money on those products and I got less products than what I have today. So really, aren't I winning? Like, how could I not go to the sale and purchase everything I needed? Right? Right? Surprisingly, Brandon didn't yell at me the whole time I was thinking, oh my god, I'm going to be in so much trouble when I go home, but surprisingly... I still haven't gotten yelled at, so either he hasn't looked at the bill yet, which I find hard to believe, or um, he's just turning a new leaf, or he's just fed up with wasting his breath at screaming at me every time I purchase, you know, all my makeup items. <laughs> no, but really, I really, really am going to try not to spend any more money, but then when MAC has a sale where they're charging $10 for a lipstick, how the hell am I not supposed to buy the lipsticks, okay? Like, come on. It really isn't my fault. No, honestly. Is it? I don't think so. <laughs> So anyways, like I said, I did pick up a ton of items. I went with my sister, she got a ton of items too. And we just had a great day of shopping. It was honestly like a power shopping session. I've never shopped that fast and that quick in my life, but I was able to get a ton of items and I'm very excited to show it all to you. I didn't know if I was gonna do a haul. When I was putting it on my Instagram stories, everyone was commenting like, please do a haul, please do a haul, please do a haul. So you know what, girl? I'm gonna do a haul. Okay, enough talking, I'm really sorry. I love to talk and that's why I started a YouTube channel. <laughs> 
Okay, so the first lipstick in this really cool packaging. I don't know why it's in this packaging. It must be part of a collection, but this is the Lipstick Whirl, which as you guys know, probably you've seen this lipstick a million times. I have the lip liner, so if you watched my MAC lipstick swatch video, you will see that I have MAC Whirl lip liner, but I didn't have the lipstick. So I wanted to get the lipstick. It's a beautiful color. It's a color that looks good on every skin tone. And honestly, I would totally say if you were thinking, oh, will that look good on me? Should I get it? Yes, get it. It'll look good on you. So the next lipstick is Calm Heat. Again, it's part of some type of collection. I don't know what because it has this really cool tropical packaging on it with bananas, pineapple, some flowers. And it is this really beautiful nude color. If I were to put that straight on my lips, definitely it would look really bad. It would wash me out, especially because I have a tan right now, and it would look very chalky. But mixing that with other colors is going to be so, so pretty. So the next color I picked up is probably one of the most iconic MAC lipsticks. I feel like everybody and the mama knows about this lipstick. This is Ruby... <laughs> Ooh, tongue twister. Ruby Woo from MAC. It is the most beautiful red and it is a red that I am not kidding looks good on so many people, especially if you're a brown girl and you're looking for like that perfect red. This is a color that you're going to want to try out. Pop this on and girl, you want fire. Okay, so the next lipstick I have is Creme de Nude by MAC. It is one of those cream sheen lipsticks, part of their regular collection. This is a color that is very sheer. So as you can see me putting it on, it's a very sheer type of nude. Once again, I would not wear this by itself, but putting this on top, like if you were going for like a wet look or something a little bit glossier and you wanted to mix a few colors together, this would look really, really pretty. So the next lipstick I got is Touch the Earth and it's just different packaging. I've never seen lipstick like this. I hardly go into the MAC store to be honest. I'll only go if they're having like a big sale or if I'm gonna do like a big purchase just because I try not to go in there because if I go in there, I get suckered into buying a lot of things. So when I saw the packaging on this, I was like, ooh, this is very different. I've never seen this before. So this is what Touch the Earth looks like. It is a mineralized lipstick and as you can tell, it has like this really taupey brown kind of sandy color. And on my skin, I hope you guys can tell, it's quite glossy and it's very sheer. So it's about my color, but it's a very glossy, rich looking, wet type of lipstick. So this again would be definitely a topper and definitely something that I would have to mix in with other colors. So the next lipstick is this MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in the color Japanese Maple. This is the color right here and I actually really like this color. Every time I've seen this co color swatched, it's been on girls like of Caucasian skin tone, whiter skin tone. And that's one thing that I want to tell you guys, like if you're a darker skin tone like me, don't be afraid to try colors that a lot of lighter girls or darker girls are putting on or whatever your color is. Don't be afraid to get the color and to mix it and play with it. I find that mixing colors and playing with them are the most fun. And even a color like this, it might not look good just by itself on me, but definitely with like a lip liner underneath and then this in the center. Ooh, 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 girl, ooh. <laughs> Okay, so this one right here is the color Mud Wrestler. As you can tell, I kind of went on a nude binge because this is another nude color. This is what it looks like. It's definitely a matte color and it's a really beautiful nude. So the next color is the color Dearly Beloved. It is a matte and it has like this darkish brown color to it. This is what it looks like. It's actually a really beautiful, rich color. It has a lot of different beautiful undertones to it. So this next lipstick is from the MAC Ariana Grande collection and it is this really beautiful lip glass. Now I was actually going to do a giveaway so I don't want to swatch this one. It is the color Viva Glam 2 and it's this really beautiful color and it has little specks of like glitter but it's not chunky glitter it's just like a little bit of sparkle we will be giving this away in the near future so make sure you subscribe to my channel okay another lip glass that I got is in the color spite and this is what it looks like I love this one I love it because it is first off just a regular no shine no nothing it's just a regular plain old lip gloss and it is a really beautiful color I'll just swatch it here a color that would look good on top, but would also look good on itself for my skin tone. I really, really love it. It's just so shiny, it looks really good. I'm so excited to wear this one. This is the lip gloss in the color Lust. Once again, it's like a really beautiful nude lip gloss. And I'm going to swatch this one right here. This one has more of a pinky peach undertone to it. There it is. 
I got another lip gloss from that same tropical collection. This is in the color Summer Succulents, and it's a cream sheen lip gloss, which I really like because you can't really tell the color on my skin, especially because my hand is really tan. But obviously you can see that the color is like this really pale peachy pink. And when it goes onto my skin, it kind of gives a little bit of that pale color, but it gives a lot of gloss, which is what I love. I always love adding glosses on top of my lipsticks, especially when I'm going for like a really wet look. The last lipstick I got was Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy is a color that I have talked about so many times. If you guys haven't seen my other MAC haul or if you haven't seen where I swatch all of my MAC lipsticks and lip liners and all that stuff, I will link it in the description box down below and I will link it in the cards up here. Check out that video because in that video I talk about the importance of every girl having Velvet Teddy in their lipstick collection. So actually I bought this as a backup. I already have Velvet Teddy myself and I will swatch Watch the one I already have just to show you guys what it looks like. Please, like, just do yourself a favor and go get Velvet Teddy. It will change your life. It will, 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 will change your life, I promise you. And in both of my nude lip combination videos, I've used Velvet Teddy with other things just to show different ways that you can nude it out. So please do yourself a favor, get Velvet Teddy. I got two lip liners from the sale. The first one is in the color Night Moth, which I fell in love with when I was swatching so so vampy and pretty like you guys don't even understand so beautiful like in the fall if you're doing an ombre lip oh my god I'm actually so excited to use it even though it's summer I will definitely rock a dark lip and the second one is in the color sandbar this is a pro long wear and that's what it looks like so once again it's very nude other than night moth basically every color I got was very nude because I'm all about those nude lips so that's all of the MAC lip stuff that I got, but I did get one lipstick from Tom Ford. This is in the color Kareen. It's number 03. So this is my first Tom Ford lip item or item in general. This is what it looks like when you open it up. Very cute. This is the small size, so you don't really get that much product. How much product do you get in here? 0 0.07 ounces. So I will swatch this for you. Once again with this one, it is a really light sheer coverage. Okay, so those are all of my lip items. Let's move on to the eyes. Really excited about this because this is a different type of product. I don't really have a lot of color products, but I'm not afraid to try out these products. It's just that I don't want to pay full price for them because you don't use them all the time. So when I saw this on sale, I was like, yes, definitely getting that. This is the MAC Fluid Line Pen in the color Privet. It's this really beautiful emerald green let's see if you guys can see like look at that tell me that is not gorgeous a few videos ago I did a tutorial with Throne from Anastasia Beverly Hills that eyeshadow and like it's similar to this color I just love it so so much so pretty and the other thing I got um, I'm not gonna swatch it because I got it from my mom this is the MAC eyebrow pencil and it's in the color stud I got four different pigments full-size pigments okay each pigment was $12 and when you go to MAC in Canada the little pigments are $12 so you could just imagine how much money I saved I really don't know how much the big pigments are I guess you could look that up but I just know that I bought the little pigments before for $12 so I was really excited to see these ones for full size for $12 so the first one that I got is this beautiful gold oh my god look at that guys that is the color gold so pretty so the next pigment I got is the color old gold and as you can see this is what it looks like it looks a lot more antique hence the name old gold so this is regular gold and this is old gold you can see that this one is definitely more bronzy more coppery and this is just plain gold so those are both of them side by side this one is gold and this one is old gold. I really love old gold because it has like flecks and hints of like orange, copper. It adds a lot of dimension to the color. So the next pigment is the color silver. As you can tell, this is just really an intense silver. It's definitely the, it's, <laughs> it's definitely a really cool tone silver, very true to color. And then the last pigment I got is the color copper, this really beautiful reddish brown. This is what copper looks like. Love it. For the fall and summer, that will be my jam. 
I got three regular eyeshadows. The first one is from the MAC and Selena collection and it's called Missing My Baby. I love the packaging in the little purple container and it's just really beautiful pale pink color. This would be like a great lip color. Even it could be an under brow color just to highlight the area if I was doing like a pink look. That is the color right there. Next color I got is the color Honey Lust and it's a luster eyeshadow. It's this really beautiful sparkle shadow. Look at that. So pigmented and pretty. It has like a peachy undertone to it, which I really like because I have colors like this, but it has more of a pink undertone. And the last shadow I'm really excited to show you if it would come out. Oh my God. Anyways, I don't know what um, collection this is from. It has like this spaceship. I don't even know if that's spaceship, but like spaceship with the initials SO on it. So not sure, I'm just gonna rip this apart. Not sure what collection it's from, but when I saw this shadow, I was like, oh my God, I want it. So this is what it looks. It has that same decal in the front. It's a pressed pigment and it's called The Naked Time. And I'm just going to, it's the most beautiful pigment. Like just the most beautiful pigment. And what I love about it, it's just that it has that sparkle and it has that glam, but it's also very classy and elegant. It's not too in your face. It's gonna be a color that you can put on top of other colors. And when I saw this, pigment. I was like, yes, that is exactly what I needed. It is like Jesus spoke to me and said, here you go for your YouTube. Last thing I want to show you guys for the eyes is this edgiest coal shadow stick. It is from SD Edit by SD Lauder and it is in the color Royal Scandal. Ooh. So this is how the shadow stick looks and this is the color. You guys know I'm a sucker for blue. Blue emeralds. Those are my gems. I just love it. It's so beautiful. It's royal blue and it would make a great eyeshadow base. So the last two products I have, they are not from MAC. This is Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Champagne Pop. I actually wanted to get this when it came out at Sephora, but I didn't and it was just too expensive. So I kind of just said I would get it when I really needed it. But this ended up being $25 and in Sephora Canada, this is $50. So I was like, yes, I definitely want this. We are doing a lot of beach vacations coming up and I definitely want to put this Whoa, is that why it's $25? Because it is broken. Okay, there we go. Is it really broken? I'll be so pissed. Oh, there we go. Crisis averted. We're going on a lot of beach vacations coming up and I wanted to look glowy and just bronze to the gods. So I definitely wanted to get this. And this is probably the product that I'm like really most excited for because I didn't realize how much I needed this product until I tried it and I was like, how have I never gotten this product before? The Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in the color Bronze Glow. It comes in a package like this. Open it up and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can really tell how beautiful it is, but I will swatch. First off, it feels so luxurious. Ooh, ooh, when I touch it, I feel luxurious. <laughs> and then you put it on and just look, like just look. Tell me, I dare you to tell me that you don't need this in your life. I dare you, tell me, let me hear you. Yeah, you can't because you need this. Like I could just bathe in this. Legit, I would bathe in this. When I go on vacation, this is what I'm taking and I am just going to drown my body in it. So pretty. Like, you just, you can't even say anything. It's just gorgeous. Okay, guys, so this is the end of my haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I like showing you guys what I got. I actually forgot some of the items that I picked up, so this was a great way for me to remember. Like always, I welcome your comments, your suggestions down below in the comment section. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Welcome to my little YouTube family. I would love to have you. Don't forget to watch my other Mac haul that I will link on the screen, and I will also put my other Mac videos down below if you guys wanna check those out and see what goodies I've gotten before. If if you guys know of any products you think that I need for Mac, let a girl know why don't ya? I will talk to you guys in my next video. Don't ever forget you are so beautiful. Bye guys.